Hi, and welcome to this Corporate Maths primary video on finding the area of a triangle. In this video, we're going to look at how to find the area of a triangle, and we're going to look at answering some questions that involve finding the area of a triangle. So here we've got a right angle triangle. It's a right angle triangle with a base of 5 centimetres and a height of 4 centimetres. What we're going to do is we're going to find the area of this triangle by turning it into a rectangle. So let's turn it into a rectangle by going up and across. And as you can see, the triangle is half of the whole rectangle. You've got the rectangle, and if we join up the opposite corners, we've got that triangle. So the triangle is half of the rectangle. Now, if I wanted to find the area of the triangle, what I would do is I'd find the area of the whole rectangle. So the rectangle is five centimeters long and four centimeters high. So I would do five times four, which is equal to 20. So the area of the rectangle is 20 centimeters squared. But the triangle is half of that. So I'm gonna take my 20 and divide it by two, and that would give me 10 centimeters squared. So the area of this triangle is 10 centimeters squared. And how we found it, found it was we took the base and we took the height, we times them together, and then we divide it by two. Now that will work for any triangle as long as you know the base and the height. So it would work for a right angle triangle by turning it into a rectangle and halving it. So right angle triangle, you would do the base times the height and divide by two. But it would also work for other triangles such as the scaling one, as long as you know the base and the height. Just be aware that the height is the distance from the base to the highest point. It's not the diagonals, okay? So you would do the base times the height and divide it by two. Okay, let's have a look at some questions. So our first question says, work out the area of this triangle. So we've got a triangle. It's got a base of 6 and a height of 4. So I'm going to do 6 times 4, which is equal to 24. And then I'm going to divide that by 2. So 24 divided by 2 is equal to 12 centimeters squared. So the area of this triangle is 12 centimeters squared. Okay, next. Okay, this time the triangle is not right angled, but we know the base and we know the height. So we're going to do 10 times 8, which is equal to 80. And then we need to divide by 2. So 80 divided by 2, which is equal to 40 centimeters squared. So there, if this triangle would be 40 centimeters squared. Okay, next. Okay, this time we've got a base of 9 and a height of 5. So what we're going to do is we're going to do 9 times 5. Well, 9 times 5 is 45. And now we're going to divide that by 2. So 45 divided by 2. Well, 40 divided by 2 is 20. And 5 divided by 2 is 2.5. So that would be 22.5 centimetres squared. Also remember, you could, if you wanted to, use the bus shelter method of division or short division. 2 into 4 goes twice. 2 into 5 goes twice. Remainder 1. And 2 into 10 goes 5 times. So, you know, you could do the division like that. Okay, but it might just be easier to mentally half it if you can. Okay, and our last question. This question says the area of the triangle is 20 centimeters squared. Work out the height of the triangle. So we don't know this number, the height of the triangle. So what we're going to do is we're going to work backwards. Normally what we would do is um, we would take this number 5 and we would times it by the missing number and we would get what that is and then we would divide by 2. Instead what we're going to do is we're going to do the inverse. So we're going to take our 20 and we're going to times that by 2. So 20 times by 2 would be 40. Now, 5 times this number is 40, so that would be, well, 40 divided by 5 is equal to 8 centimetres. So this height would be 8 centimetres. And let's just test it. 8 times 5 is 40, divided by 2 is 20. And that's it. So if you want to find the area of a triangle, you can just do the base times the height and divide by 2. And if you know the area of the triangle and you're trying to find either the base or the height, what you can do is do the, you know, work backwards times by two and then divide by the, the one that you know. Okay, and that's it.